Hello all VR fans, welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to show you how you can use VR tunneling to stop your users feeling motion sick in VR. So I've got Unity open here, 2021.3 and uh, it's not ready set up for VR so we're going to go ahead and do that very quickly and we're going to go to Window Package Manager, go to the plus, add package by name and you're going to type com.unityxr.interaction toolkit good old XR Interaction Toolkit. I feel like they've been doing a little bit more sis lately. There's been a couple of new features that I've seen added, which um, would be great to do some new videos on. Installing, compiling. Yes, I definitely made a backup. And once it's restarted, go ahead, go back to your XR Interaction Toolkit, and you're gonna install the starter assets, and it'll also install the tunneling vignette. I already did that by accident because I paused my video. We're going to go ahead and close that. And once you've imported those things, we're going to go down to start assets. We're going to go to the samples, extra interaction toolkit, and then click on the folder, click on start assets. And we're going to add in the left controller to so our action based default and the right controller. You get your project settings up by going build settings, player settings. And I've docked mine over here. You're going to go to XR, into XR Plugin Management and install that. Once you've got it chosen, we can select Open XR on Windows Desktop Platform. And then we're going to go to Android, because you might want to use your Quest. You can go to Open XR. We're going to get a little triangle. We click that. It says we need a, at least one interaction profile. We'll go down to Open XR. We're going to add in an interaction profile. We want Oculus Touch Controller, because we're going to in the quest so we need to also check oculus quest support for android and under the windows desktop we're going to add in oculus touch controller profile so once you've got all that set up and you're good to go we're going to go ahead and go to our preset manager and when we added our controller defaults on the right we're going to type right and in the xr default left we're going to type left this is just going to populate our xr controller rig when we create it in our sample scene we're going to go ahead remove the main camera and I'm also then going to add an XR, XR Origin VR. I'm going to make sure that's set to floor, we're at 0, 0, 0. And then on our XR Interaction Manager, to make sure we're communicating with all our input devices, we use the Input Action Manager, set it to 1, drop it down, and then add in our XRI default input action. Now we need to create a quick plane, a little bit of artwork so we can move around, see what we're doing. And let's chuck a couple of boxes in there or something duplicate those around a little bit now put all that in an art folder or an art empty game object and we are good to go so when we run this we'll be, all we'll be able to do is look around and use our controllers we won't be able to move yet so we're going to add a locomotion system we're going to right click go xr locomotion system action based i like to drop drag and drop that above my xr traction manager and then the locomotion system is looking for an XR origin. So we'll drop in our XR origin. And it wants some input actions for the snap turn. And we only want to use the left stick for, for turning. So we'll click on use reference. Where, where we're looking for an input action, we'll click on the circle. This is already done for us. We find our XR left hand turn in this list and drop it in. So that's going to allow us to turn in increments when we've press the thumb stick, but we also need to be able to move backwards and forwards. So again, we'll go to the locomotion system, we're going to add component, and we'll type, start typing continuous move. We want the continuous move provider action base. So we click on there. We can always hook up, it. I think that when you hit play, it will automatically populate the system, but you can drag your locomotion system into the top. We're going to be using our right hand to move, so we're going to click use reference. And then under the reference here, we want to select right hand and move. X or right, right hand, locomotion. Now when we run this in VR, we should be able to move around. Let's quickly check it out. Here we are in VR. Snapping, looking cool. Look around, I can move my hands. And then when I use my right thumb stick, uh, I can move around like so. Basically, you'll follow my head, which is quite cool. So that's moving around. Now, some people, when they're using VR, they get a little bit mo they get a little bit of motion sickness. 
So to alleviate that, you can create like a tunneling effect where there's a vignette around the screen. So when you move, this tunnel starts to fade in. It's all black around the edges, um, which helps reduce, um, I think it's called like peripheral vision pixel flow, where you've got stuff going by you, which can make you feel sick. Uh, and with the XR Interaction Toolkit now, you can drop in a prefab, which is going to help you do that out of the box. So what you want to do is find where your main camera is. Then in your project, go down to your XR Interaction Toolkit. And then when we imported the tunneling vignette, now you'll see that uh, you've got all the bits and pieces for that tunneling vignette in a folder. What you want is a prefab, which is this little cube, and you want to drag and drop that under your main camera. So this is really easy to set up. On this prefab, the tunneling vignette, you've got the tunneling vignette controller, and it's looking for a locomotion vignette provider. So we'll click on the little plus. It wants a locomotion provider. We've got that in already on our locomotion system. So we're just going to drag and drop that in there. If you wanted to, you could override some of these parameters. We're not going to override any of those default sets. So we'll turn that off. But under the locomotion provider, you see we've got a little drop down. What you want to do here, at the moment it's set to teleport. And we actually want to do it when we move. So we're going to change it to action based continue move provider. Now let's try this out in VR. And then when we move, you see we've got that fade in effect coming in. So we don't feel so sick when you're moving around. Let's just double check, you can see that in the game view. Yeah, you can just about see it coming in there in the corners. So I move around backwards and forwards. And that's an effect you might have seen in some games um, to stop users feeling sick when they're moving around, especially when they're moving quickly and there's a lot of things passing by at the sides. And it's great that the XR Interaction Toolkit now includes that out of the box as a feature. So I really hope you like this small little video. And if you want access to this project and all its beautiful artwork, then you can get that from my Patreon page uh, as an XR project that's ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.